How's it going? It's all the news, all the time, and it's really nice to have you along. And uh, today we're going to be looking at some interesting news that's come out, and uh, it's about Marilyn Manson. Marilyn Manson seems to be having, or seems to have had the same issue, same problem that uh, Johnny Depp did with uh, his girlfriend and then later wife. And he and Marilyn Manson's having the same issue. We're going to look at the, some of the text messages they were sending, uh, Marilyn Manson was sending to Johnny Depp about the situation. We're going to be looking at, uh, has Amber sold her house in the uh, Yucca Valley? We'll have a quick look at some of the uh, official links. We're going to take a quick look at the Never Fear Truth Discord, see what the public chat is going on over there. Some interesting news about this metaverse where you can build buildings and there's a new company involved. And uh, we're going to have a quick look at the artwork, which you can still buy and some of the prices and why the prices are so crazy high. And uh, we're also going to be looking um, at Johnny Depp's house in the UK. So if you want to go and live in Johnny Depp's house, that is an option. And I mean a real house, not a digital crazy one. I mean a real actual bricks and mortar, got a roof house. And uh, yes, yeah, so we'll have a little look at that. And uh, we're going to finish off with uh, some shots of Jason Momoa. I don't know why, but we are. And uh, for the gentleman, we've got Jennifer Lopez. Couldn't be better. Okay, uh, so stay tuned and uh, let's have a little look at what is going on. Oh, interesting news coming out from the Mail Online. It's saying, I've got an Amber 2.0. This is coming from Marilyn Manson. These are unsealed court documents that uh, came out through the work of the, the fans of Johnny Depp who paid $3,000 to get these documents unsealed. And uh, he's saying, I've got an Amber 2.0. Um, his wife, Lindsay Usish, um, there she is. Uh, called cops on him saying he beat her up and the actor replied sociopathic behavior is effing real my brother um, unsealed court filings reveal texts between Marilyn Manson and Johnny Depp the pair talked about abuse allegations by their significant others Marilyn described his current wife Lindsay Usish I don't know how to pronounce this as being an amber 2.0 and he claims that she filed a restraining order against him, alleging he beat her up. I'm getting deja vu here. Depp instructed his friend to take no and remain calm. The actor said Usish's behaviour was similar to the textbook sociopathic behaviours of his ex-wife. The texts were withheld from evidence during Heard and Depp's defamation trial because of the ongoing legal proceedings against Manson. That doesn't seem fair that necessary evidence that's used in one trial is being withheld because there's an independent and unrelated trial going on somewhere else. Very strange. Um, his attorneys argued the text would smear Depp under a guilty by association theory. Right. Wow. So, so what's actually going on here? Well, Marilyn Manson sent a string of texts to Johnny Depp in 2016 comparing his current wife, Lindsay Usish, to the actor's ex-wife, and you know her name. Manson, whose real name is Brian Warner, that always uh, amuses me actually, that his name's Brian. He messages Depp and he says, I've got an Amber 2.0. He claims uh, that Usish, his then girlfriend, filed a restraining order against him, alleging that he beat her up and had drugs in his home. So Depp instructs his friends to don't take no and remain calm noting it was important not to give her what she wants. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to come to this in a, another video, I think, because I think this attitude of Johnny Depp's it comes from his past, from uh, some trauma he had as a child. And so I want to talk about that in more detail, but I'll do that later. Uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean star added, sociopathic behaviour, it's effing real, my brother. My ex is God. There's a lot of swearing going on here. The text messages were made public over the weekend when thousands of pages of documents filed in Depp and Heard's defamation trial were unsealed. So we have a text message here. I've got an Amber 2.0. Uh, I've talked to Tony, but this is F. She filed a restraining order, said I beat her up, and gave the cops my address and said that I have drugs here, so I'm ready to book out of here. They seem really close, Marilyn Manson and Johnny Depp. They've got sharing tattoos. They've got three of the same tattoos. The musician claimed that Usich, uh, his then girlfriend, filed a restraining order. 
uh, we've got another text message here these are uh, interesting text messages to be honest loving you my brother I woke to two lovely photos of a man that seems to be capturing more than my attention thank you for remembering these little tokens keep my heart warm in your absence I miss you my brother we shall exchange precious bodily fluids you know they seem like the text messages of very close friends who can joke with each other and are quite funny about stuff uh, don't take no S More, most important is to say calm do not give her what she wants which is to make you scream, flip out and feed her narcissism. Yeah, again, this attitude of Johnny Depp's to stay quiet and uh, is, is not good. I think it comes from some trauma in his past. Um, trust me, I've been reading a lot of material on that sociopathic behaviour. It's effing real, my brother. My ex is goddamn textbook. Oh, I should have read this sh earlier. They're taking me to the stage now. Hit me up when you can. Big gay love, Zippy the Pinhead. So Johnny calls himself Zippy the Pinhead. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, interesting text from, like, people who've known each other a long time and know how to joke with each other. A string of texts which were reviewed by the Daily Mail showed Manson seemingly worried about his relationship with Usish. Uh, 37. The rocker claims she was making abuse allegations against him that echoed the claims uh, someone made against Depp. Indeed so. Uh, Lindsay just pulled an amber on me. This this phrase is becoming a, a thing. Uh, Manson wrote, Depp advised his friend to do everything in his power to avoid giving Usish what she wants, which is to make you scream, flip out and flip out and feed her narcissism. Hmm. He refers to his uh, girl, ex-girlfriend as, uh, yeah, this is not great. This is when you don't like someone. Said her behaviour was textbook sociopathic. Should have read this earlier. Uh, he looks good today. Looking, looking sharp. <laughs> See, I like this look as well. This is great. And uh, what's going on here? So, it's, yeah, interesting. Um, I've got serious police amber type scenario with Elle's family. I'm stressed. I don't know if you're back. I need asylum somewhere. I think the cops might be heading my way. Lindsay pulled an amber. She filed a police report. But then he goes on to marry her. Like, later, they're married now. She's pulling an amber. The cops are going to show up to serve me a restraining order. Honestly, I mean, what's that crazy hot matrix thing? Um, Depp advised again, keep your distance, speak as little as possible to her. This is effed. He laid her rights, said I beat her up, gave the cops my address, said they've got drugs here, I'm ready to book out of here. So then they are uh, looking all uh, nice and romantic. I don't know what this is. Miller, 2000 Fox. Um, so there's a lot of other texts between Depp and Manson. They have their own little cave. They make reference to the film Salvo. Uh, they're going to have their own Salvo and a gay stuff. I think they're quite funny together these two. And uh, yeah, let's not look at her. And uh, there's Marilyn Manson, Johnny Depp at the Stella McCartney, autumn 2016. Is that Marilyn Manson? Okay. So there you go. Uh, so yeah, interesting stuff. Um, interesting stuff going on about the story that there's uh, he's getting the same sort of system same sort of allegations same sort of problems going on which is not good um, in other news we've got uh, this person has it seems uh, according to TMZ has sold the Yucca Valley home and made a handsome profit uh, to boot so I mean, strange looking buildings out in the desert, these sort of rectangles with the, the things sticking out. Uh, Yucca Valley Home, long rumoured to belong to AH since the trial, recently sold to one million dollars. So this was according to Zillow Property Records. The crib had been people still saying crib. The crib had been purchased in 2019 through an anonymous trust that reportedly had ties to Amber. Oh yeah. Anonymous Trust Day, eh? uh, getting quietly snapped up for just five hundred and sixty thousand dollars. I mean, it's still a lot of money, for sure. So it seems the speculation is over. TMZ got hold of the new owner of this pad. I mean, who talks like this? And he tells us, yes, in fact, he's been dealing with Amber's people on the deal, but never Amber herself. So there you go. That's uh, according to TMZ, that has been sold uh, for one million dollars. That's quite interesting. So. Um, yeah, uh, but then if we look at Johnny Depp, he can generate money sort of daily just by making paintings. Um, looking at what's going on on the Never Fear Truth Discord channel, 
I was looking at the uh, these are the official links if you want their official uh, websites of anything and uh, I would only use these official links if I were you because there can be uh, lots of uh, fraud and misrepresentation so only go through the official stuff and if we look at the public chat on the Never Fear Truth Discord channel they seem to be chatting about songs and music at the moment as far as I know uh, yeah people in Australia people talking about music and tracks um, I was looking at some of the uh, OpenSea NFTs which were up for sale this is the most expensive one it's currently on sale for 1234 ether which is two million dollars I kid you not two million dollars for this thing and you might be asking why is this worth two million dollars and well it's to do with the, the number of it because the number is one two three four that's why it possibly could sell for two million dollars but if you look at the history of the actual sale um, it was created five months ago and uh, was given to Z9NY he transferred it to Stonk Lover uh, for the price of 0 0.699 ether so 0 0.699 is one thousand dollars so this was created and then sold for one thousand dollars so this person is now trying to sell it for two million dollars now trying to sell something is not the same as what it's worth I could put I don't know um, I could put a can of coke on eBay and say it's worth two million pounds but no one's gonna buy it for two million pounds are they so be very careful about uh, what people sell things for and what they're actually worth so that's the most expensive one out there at the moment in the open sea of the NFTs that's the coinbase ethereum to US dollar tells you what things are um, and there's some interesting stuff about the house of Johnny Depp uh, there's an abandoned house in the UK it was meant to look like this and it's linked to Johnny Depp and there it is and it's um it's on the marketplace for 7.5 million and uh, yeah so it's meant to be this crazy uh, building in the UK that you could go and see and uh, and and but it never actually got finished it never got built so I'm going to show you some uh, some records of it so this is um, this is obviously a map you've got the UK here Ireland Norway Sweden Finland US over there Spain France Portugal Germany over here there's Belgium if we zoom in this is the southeast that's London this is the southwest that's Wales up here Swindon Reading you got the Isle of Wight this is Southampton and then a little bit north of Southampton you've got this place called Romsey and then in Romsey or near Romsey you've got this place called Belbins and there's a sort of a lake type thing going on and then if I switch to satellite view da -da -da, you've got this golden hill and there's all these really expensive houses oh, really this is like millionaires row or something and uh, this is Johnny Depp's house or it was going to be and it never got completed it looks like there's some work going on there's cars there and someone's mowed the lawn uh, but this this lake looks bad <laughs> um, but yeah that's that's the house it was abandoned for years and years and squatters moved in and it was just left uh, but they're thinking of turning it into uh, 10 bedroom flats so if you fancy coming living uh, there that would be an awesome place to live I don't know if I can drop my guy here that's my going there and a little sort of country back road and there's the front gate and a pretty pretty nondescript front gate to be honest so there you go um, so that's a bit that's about it for today and uh, if you'd like to leave a like and a subscribe that'd be great and let me know your thoughts do you want to live in this crazy house and uh, what do you think of Marilyn Manson and would you buy one of these NFTs because they cost so much money two million dollars and uh, yeah let me know what you think okay bye